Okay, a little uh, backyard garden update. Got the spinach or chard or whatever is doing doing good, getting bigger. And there's some more over here. The carrots, carrots are coming in really nicely. They're getting big. <clears throat> we had a crazy, uh, I guess, windy day yesterday and it uh, blew my plants all over the place. Had to really stake them down. Broccoli's getting bigger. This one's doing good. Yeah, there are leaves all over this thing from the wind and all these things were blowing all over the place. There's a ton of them in the corner of my yard. It's kinda, kinda funny, kinda weird. Uh, but the, the tomato plant kinda blew all over the place. I had to come out here and reinforce it with a bunch of string, a bunch of twine. These uh, jalapenos are coming in all over the place. Look at these. There's a ton of these guys all over the place. There's more. There's a bunch of them. Um, and then tomatoes. Tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes coming in. They're hiding in there all over the place. There's a little bundle of them. those potato plants these things are just going crazy there's so many of them they are all over the place good stuff but yeah and the broccoli still gigantic My yard got blown around pretty good. <laughs> still, still absolutely nothing on the lavender. Sweet basil, it's coming up, doing good. Cilantro, still got that one sprout. Nothing on the parsley. My mint, I don't think it liked all that wind yesterday. It seemed like it just got all blown to one side. So maybe we'll turn it. But it still seems to be doing good. I've got to do something with my, my rain barrel. The, the lid is not very sturdy. So it's, it's very light. So I have to have something on top of it to, to weight it down. So that's why I was putting that stone. But then it's also not very sturdy. So a little bit of wind will just kind of shift it and then the whole thing goes down so i've got to figure out something maybe something i can some clamps oh that's a good idea i wonder if i can get some little clamps just clamp like three or four of them around the top um that might help it but i gotta come up with something something for this because this is this is getting frustrating and then i'm getting all kinds of debris and stuff in my my rainwater which i mean this isn't for me to drink this is for the plants so it's not really that big of a deal but um it's still just kind of annoying and frustrating because then i gotta fish this stuff out and the whole purpose of keeping it covered and having that that mesh on there and stuff is to keep bugs and like mosquitoes out because mosquitoes will go to a, a an area with water like this that's just standing water and they will lay eggs in it and they will just multiply multiply like crazy they'll there'll be thousands of mosquitoes just in this bucket so that uh yeah i gotta fix that problem but anyway that's kind of the update and then i'll do another video to give y'all an update on uh on the worms they're doing pretty good Talk to you guys later.